Hi, welcome to another video on Bound Lab for Education. Um, this one's looking at another one of the FX effects. Um, I've done a few videos on different effects within Bound Lab, the noise gate and the EQ effect. Um, this is another one. Here we're focusing on the de um, And the de is great for vocal tracks and improving the syllabus, particularly about how you pronounce some of your words, either through speech or through singing. Um, so that you can clear up the S sort of sounds that happen in what you do. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to, ha to subscribe um, and then you'll be able to know about any more future videos and that'll help me out as well. So let's get into this. Okay, here we are in the mixer. So in order to do this test, we've got to look at um, a voice track. So for this voice track, uh, we need a bit of audio. So let's record some audio. Uh, let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Hopefully that's lots of S sounds. And we've got an extra track there. Let's get rid of that one. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Mm, that's all right. Let's trim that up a bit. Uh, let's let's take out that little ah. Uh. Because I'm going to repeat this a few times and it will get really annoying. So let's hear it one more time. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, so that's our natural audio sound, just recorded straight in there. Let's go down to the effects, that's down the bottom here. And we're going to add this particular effect. So we're going to click on Add Effect, and it's down under Dynamics, under de -esser. And by default, let's have a listen to its sound. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, so what that's done, we've got two parameters here. And so this is um, part of the DSA compressor. And compressors, if you've studied them, tend to limit certain settings happening in a recording. So we've got a threshold when we've got the frequency. Okay, so the frequencies will be linked to the frequencies of the voice in the particular recording, um, in the audio frequencies. And then we've also got the threshold um, of how strong that frequency is going to be impacted. So um, I've also noticed that it drops it by six decibels by default, um, your main audio. So you've got to watch out um, as this is going to affect the volume of your track. So you've got to find a bit of balance in how you make these adjustments to suit your needs, okay? The settings I end up doing here may not um, exactly correlate to your situation. You may have to tweak these sorts of things a little bit more. So let's play around with these things. So let's um, turn everything all the way up. Let's go that way first. So turning the frequency up to the top frequency, we put the threshold right up to zero. Let's have a listen to that. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. And we'll turn it off. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, for my hearing, that hasn't really changed anything. So by having it fully all the way up, there's not a lot that's been changed. There's not a lot of a threshold that's been taken out of what you've done with that recording. So let's go back down a bit. Let's flip it right the extreme the other way. Okay, so we've gone the extreme one way, now going the extreme the other way. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, so just in there we can hear a drastic reduction in the volume of that track. So um, you probably don't want to be doing that, otherwise you're going to be compensating um, somewhere else in your track to bring up the volume um, because of this particular effect decreasing the volume. Okay, so let's take this back up. Let's put it about halfway. And let's put the frequency up a bit. And let's have a listen there. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. And let's see what that sounds like without it. 
Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally Sings a Silly Song. And that's not too bad. Okay, so if I keep tweaking that a little bit, I'll probably end up with something that I really like. I've got a little bit less of that um, high frequencies in the syllabuses of what I'm saying in my words and how I'm articulating the words in that particular recording. Um, now, this DS, you may not want to have it in effect for the entire track. It might be that you only want to cut it in a few specific words or the few sections of a song. And that is also possible here within BandLab. So let's look at being able to adjust this only in a specific part of the audio track. Now to do that, um, you need to come up to this automation feature. Um, I've done some videos um, on this uh, volume and pan, which is what the normal standard features are when you click this where you've got volume and pan, there should be a link nearby that will show you how to do that one. But if we click on the drop down, we're going to get the two different frequencies that are in this. And this is similar to other effects um, as well, that you can automate them. So let's play with the threshold one. Okay, so as you saw when I selected that, it dropped down to the threshold I had there. So let's turn that up. I'm going to take that back up to the minus six that it was or close to, let's go minus seven and have a listen to it. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, and so for the beginning of that, that was actually quite good. Um, it took a little bit out of it, but it's not too much to really adjust or change, um, change it in a drastic way. When it came to what I was saying about poor Silly Sally, I do apologize to any Sallys out there. Um, this is in no means referring to anybody at all. I can then select a split point or sort of a split point there and then I might drag it down a bit. Let's do a bit of a drastic change. Make another point and then bring it back up again. I don't have it about seven didn't I? Well that uh, that will do for now. Whoops lost it. That'll do. Let's bring that up a little bit level. Okay, let's have a listen to that. So we should hear and see the threshold move. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, so that's probably a little bit too drastic, isn't it? Okay, so you don't want to be hearing speech or somebody singing and then all of a sudden um, the vocal part or track just drops down in volume. It's just too noticeable. Okay, so let's bring that up a bit. And I wanted just to move that along. Let's see what happens there. Let's taper that. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay. And I've got the word song I've missed out on. Let's bring that across. Went the wrong side of the word song. Try it again. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. That's not too bad. Let's listen to it without. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. And then with. Let's record a bit of audio on this track. Let's say Silly Sally sings a silly song. Okay, so hopefully you've been able to pick up on how this has changed and I've made it um, noticeable enough um, to happen through this recording of this video. Um, I'll let you know that when I play it back. So just recapping, we've got the frequency, we've got the threshold. Um, just be aware of with the threshold, um, you can drastically affect the volume of your overall track. Um, that's why coming into the automation might be a useful option where you're just selecting certain places where you want to apply this um, on your vocal track. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful. Um, and definitely let me know about in the comments, has this been helpful? Um, is there any other um, feature within BandLab that you would like me to talk about and explain a little bit further? Um, I've done a few videos helping out a few people and pointing them out um, in the right direction to help them be on the path of creating some great music. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and the notification bell. And finally, if you did like this um, video, hit the like button. That will help me out a lot um, and let others know that this was a useful video to check out. So um, thanks for listening.